हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू माई बिजनेस लॉस चैनल यू नो फ्रेंड्स इट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डेवलप्ड सेवेंटी वीडियोज रिगार्डिंग सिलेबस ऑफ बी कॉम ऑनर्स सेम वन एंड बी कॉम सेम वन ऑफ डेली यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर दिस बिजनेस लॉस पेपर नो सिलेबस फॉर बी कॉम ऑनर्स सेम वन एंड बी कॉम सेम वन इज द सेम and then at the end of the syllabus practical exercises are there five to six practical exercises are there and those practical exercises also i will be covering in my videos so let us begin now friends the first video will be regarding rent agreement so i hope you all must be enjoying this business laws paper okay so let us begin now the practical exercises the first will be on rent agreement let us know friends what is rent agreement and then registration of rent agreement is it compulsory or not then what are the steps involved in the registration of rent agreement which documents are required for registration and then you know uh, which clauses must be there in the rent agreement so all these headings i'm going to cover one by one in today's video so what is rent agreement friends a rent agreement is a legal document which binds the tenant and the landlord it protects the rights of both the parties in the event of a dispute and hence must be registered at the sub registrar's office until a rent agreement is registered with the sub registrar's office it has no legal validity so unregistered document is not at all valid so you, friends you must be understanding these concepts now what is valid and what is invalid i hope you all must have understood in the very first chapter under the ica 1872 now to proceed further let us know now is it compulsory to register a written document written document now notarized rent agreements are not the same as registered documents notarized rent agreement means where notary public is involved in case of a dispute between the landlord and the tenant the court will not admit a notarized agreement as proof hence it is important to get the rent agreement duly registered the registration act 1908 makes it mandatory or compulsory for a lease agreement to be registered if the leasing period is more than 11 months so friends if friends what happens if the leasing period is less than 11 months then people go for notarized document and but if it is more than 11 months then in that case the document must be registered the leasing agreement or rent agreement must be registered with the sub registrar now how to register rent agreement one has to visit sub registrar's office for registration as far as delhi is concerned in sector 16 in rohini there is sub registrar office however it is important to keep track of the time when the deed was created so friends uh, this registration and all this is applicable to all legal documents mandating registration except property will to register the deed both the parties tenant and the landlord you know must be present along with two witnesses for registration for attestation if both the parties are not present at the same time he or she must sign the power of attorney power of attorney authorizes the other person to go and act on behalf of the person who was not able to present himself granting attorney the rights of agreement closure before the date of deed expiration after this a fresh deed has to be created this is applicable to all legal documents mandating registration barring a property will and now the question arises friends what is the cost of registering rent agreement in 
Delhi. In Delhi, it is mandatory, it is compulsory to register a rent agreement if it is for a period of more than 11 months. Already I have talked about this. If the leasing period is more than 11 month, months, then the rent agreement need to be registered. In case of less than or equal to 11 months, registering a rent document becomes optional. One can go, but it is not mandatory in that case. It is not compulsory in that case where the leasing period is less than or equal to 11 months. So let us talk about the stamp duty now. Now, rental period, there are three categories, less than five years, five to 10 years, and then 10 to 20 years. Now, stamp duty, which is percentage of consideration value. And this consideration value, it refers to the average annual rent payable, as mentioned in the agreement. So, average is computed. Say, rent agreement is for two years, and the rent amount is 28,000. 28,000 plus 28,000, uh, then 56,000 divided by 2. We calculate the average rent amount. So, stamp duty in the case of first category, where the period is less than 5 years, this 2% of consideration value. And registration charges, friends, it is the same amount, 1,100 in all the cases. Where the rental period is more than 5 but less than 10 years, then this stamp duty is 5% of the consideration value. And 10 to 20 years, this is 5% of double the consideration value. So average annual rent has to be doubled. And then we have to calculate the 5% of that. So now the question is that which documents are required for rent agreement registration? The first one is, friends, the original proof or evidence of ownership or title of property. Property documents, uh, you know, the, regarding this, uh, ownership documents are to be shown. It must be kept ready. Property documents such as index to or tax receipt of the property to be leased. The property tax which has been paid, the document regarding that. Two photographs of each of the parties and each or one of each of the witnesses. So both the parties must have their witnesses and photographs of those parties as well as witnesses are must. Copy of the address proof of both the parties and the witnesses. Even address proof is also required. The passport, Aadhaar card, ration card, bank passport or driving license, it can be used as you know, uh, as uh, as a address proof. Any of them can be submitted as the address proof for this uh, uh, for the parties and the witnesses. And the next is root map of the property leased out. Even map is required. The property which is going to be leased out, the map is also required. Then details to be included in the rent agreement. There's a next heading which I would like to cover. What is to be included in the rent agreement? Friends, the key details which are to be included in the standard rent agreement, they are names and addresses of the tenant and the landlord because these two are the main parties. Signatures of the tenant and the landlord. Monthly rental amount. Security deposit, one month or two months security deposit amount is also written. Maintenance charges, then period of stay. Period of stay is six months or it is one year or it is two years. Okay, so of course it has to be more than 11 months in case of rent agreement. Then responsibilities or rights of the landlord. Responsibilities and rights of the tenant. So friends, all these points are to be covered in the leasing agreement or rent agreement. Then there are certain important clauses which are to be included in the rent agreement. And these clauses are friends, 
while creating the rent agreement it is important to include some vital clauses in the agreement some important clauses that must be included in the rent agreement a lease deed are being discussed here first one is the lock in period what is lock in period the period before which neither the owner nor the tenant can terminate the contract most of the cases you know we find that this period is 6 months then pets whether the tenant can have pets in the rental property or not overstay if the tenant continues to stay in the rental property even after the agreement term has ended the owner can charge on per day basis so what is the penal provision for overstaying see the agreement is for one year and the tenant has not vacated okay for one two months then also this penal provision must be contained in the lease deed or rent agreement then penalty for late payment see the uh, dates were uh, set that uh the the agreement period was 2 years and the tenant was to pay the rent amount uh, rate of agreement was 15th of particular month and the tenant was to pay the rent amount from 15 to 20th and he has failed to make the payment till 20th the last day of the uh, uh period then you know what is the amount of penalty or fine which can be charged by the owner so even penalty for late payment it is written in the agreement painting maintenance and repairs are to be included in the agreement mentioning clearly the duties of the landlord or the owner and that of the tenant so uh, small or minor maintenance and repairs will be taken by the tenant so this is also part of the uh you know agreement because major uh, generally they are uh, they are always uh, carried out by the owner they are borne by the owner but minor ones and routine types repairs maintenance paintings they are to be borne by the tenant food habits the owner should be open about disclosing whether you know the tenant can cook non veg food in the premises or not <laughs> so all these are friends the vital clauses which are to be contained in the rent agreement so friends this is all about rent agreement all terms and conditions what is rent agreement then registration of rent agreement what documents are required for rent reg- agreement registration and what clauses are to be contained in the rent agreement or lease deed or lease agreement i hope you all must have understood if you have any doubt you can write in the comment section i will definitely answer so friends this is all about this video do subscribe to my channel do press on the bell icon button so that you can get notifications of my future videos happy learning to you happy watching to all of you keep smiling and keep shining always goodbye friends